So we're starting the uh, genetics unit today, and let's do a quick introduction about what genetics is. So genetics is the scientific study of heredity. Gregor Mendel is a really important guy when it comes to genetics. This is a portrait of him that was painted long ago. He was born in 1822. So when you think about that, I don't like to remember the dates exactly, but it, that was about 200 years ago. So thinking that way, it's a lot easier to understand when this was occurring. He was from the Czech Republic. He was a monk that worked in a garden with peas. And what he did in that garden was he would take the male part, the pollen of a pea plant, and he would pollinate different plants uh, by hand. So he knew exactly which plant was pollinating which plant. Um, that way he could follow their traits in their offspring to see what traits were maybe showing up more, what were showing up less, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Okay, so he came to two conclusions when he was doing these experiments. He found that traits are actually passed from one generation to the next. And he also found that some alleles are dominant and others are recessive. So again, we're gonna talk about those right now. So a trait is a specific characteristic and some examples would be like hair color and rolling of the tongue. Now here's a picture of an extreme tongue roller um, I can't do this, but some people do. Uh, usually in a class of about 30, maybe two can do this. So if you're one of those, that you're a pretty special person. So traits may be passed down to offspring or they might not. So when you look at families that, you know, have had their children, um, you can see some things like sometimes the eyes look the same between the father and the daughter or maybe the hair color or the texture of the hair but sometimes you look at a trait and you go okay that wasn't you can't see that in the mother or you can't see that in the father so sometimes they show up sometimes they don't and there's a reason for that okay so genes are the chemical factor that determine the traits Genes are actually found on your DNA. So alleles are different forms of the genes. They produce different characteristics of each trait. So tall or short, you could have alleles that are for tall or short in, in any kind of species, or maybe um, alleles for eye color or alleles for skin tone. Okay, so a dominant allele is, it always shows up as a trait when it's a monohybrid cross. Um, we will only be talking about crosses right now that only have uh, one allele from each parent. So this allele, when it's dominant, if that is passed down from a parent to a child or offspring, we show that as a capital letter. So dominant is a capital letter. Recessive alleles will only show up if there is not a dominant gene involved. So that has a little letter, a lowercase letter. And to be able to have this trait actually show, you'd have to have two of them, two little t's. If a big t showed up, that would show up whatever the trait is, because it's dominant. So which trait will show up in this example? We've got 
T, big T means it's tall. Little t means it's short. So in this, if one of these big T's came from one parent and the big T came from another parent, what would this offspring look like? If you guessed tall, you're right, because if it has a big T, it's going to show that trait because it's dominant. So here we got a big T from one parent and a little T from another parent. What does this offspring look like? If you said tall, you're right. So a little T comes from one parent and a little T comes from the other parent. What would that offspring look like? Short because there is no big T over there. So we can show the short trait. Okay, the next part is some bigger words. So homozygous means it has two of the same alleles for a trait. So if it has two big T's, they would be tall alleles for height. If it has two little t's, two short alleles for height, that is homozygous. Homo means same. So those are the same. Heterozygous means different. Hetero means different. So that means the two alleles are going to be different. There's a big one and a little one. So it's a dominant and a recessive. So one tall allele and one short allele for height. Remember, homozygous means same, heterozygous, different. Okay, another big word, phenotype. That is the physical characteristic. Genotype means the actual genetic makeup. So what would the phenotype be, oh, I'm sorry, genotype be for this flower? We look up here. What's the genetic makeup of, of this flower? And phenotype, what is the phenotype of this flower? So genotype is genetic makeup. Phenotype is the physical characteristic. So genotype would be big R, big R, sorry. And the phenotype would be purple. 